events in the Southern Division at Beardsley Valley. Before we get into the ball game, we got a message for Ben's service in Browns Valley. Now, if he's listening by any chance, and I don't know if he's got a radio or a crystal set or what, but he promised to get me a picture of a game that I did in a rainstorm over at Elbow Lake, and I haven't gotten that picture yet. Now, if you don't have that ready for me, you turn the radio off and don't you listen to the game. Got that, Ben? Okay. All right, let's take a look at these two clubs. First of all, Beardsley Valley, as we said, uh, coming out of the South Division, they will go into playoff action next Tuesday as they will host Clinton Graceville in the first round of the playdown. For Hillcrest Lutheran Academy, they will wait until Friday, and then they will be over at West Central against the Wildcat guys. Let's take a look, if we may, at today's action. Coming into today's football game, Dave Tra Tru Troutman and Keith Haggerty's club are 5-2 and two on the season, and this is the way the Mustangs will go offensively. At quarterback, it'll be number 11, Lee Sikora. He weighs in at 175 pounds, and he's a senior. At the fullback spot, as they run basically out of a T formation, excuse me, an I formation, number 22 will be Steve Fagang Fengler. Steve Fengler. I got to check this. Fengler. Spiegler, okay, there we got it, Spiegler. He weighs 152 pounds and is senior. The tailback will be number 12, Eugene Gibson, 182, and he's a senior. On the flank, we get a look at number 78, John Sheldon, weighs in at 159 pounds, and he's a senior. Taking a look at their offensive guards, it'll be number 89, Robin Kellen, 228, and he's a senior. At the other guard spot, number 38, Paul Nelson, 244, and he's a junior. On the ends, we get a look at the tight end, number 54, John Kaufman, 203, a junior. The split end duties will be handled by number 81, Mike Kruger, 140, and a senior. The snapper, the center, number 63, Dustin Arndt, 190, and a junior. They will start with six seniors and three juniors in their offensive unit. Their backs will average 167 pounds. Their line will add, come in at 201 pounds. We'll be back in two minutes to take a look at the defensive alignment of the Comet guys. They are four and three on the season. Let's take a look at their defensive alignment. They, of course, come out of the Pheasant North Conference. They play basically out of a four-man defensive front. At right end, number 76 will be Darren Hydrator, 165, and a senior. At right tackle, it'll be number 77, Chris Mann, 175, and a senior. As we look at the left side of their defensive lineman, it'll be number 64, Brooks Walters. He weighs in at 240 pounds. He's a junior. At left end, number 5. Evan Newman, 185, and he's a junior. As we look at their linebackers, on the right side will be number 21, Matt Erickson, 165, a senior. The left side linebacker, number 44, Scott Hansen, 185, and a junior. On the corners, on the right side, it'll be number 26, Paul Plum, 155, a senior. And on the left corner, number 42, it'll be Ryan Nordland, 165, and a junior. Safety duties will be handled by number 31, Dave Folden. He's a sophomore, weighs in at 140 pounds, ring and wet. They will start with four seniors, four juniors, and one sophomore. Their defensive line will average 191 pounds. So that means that they will give up about 10 pounds per man along the line of scrimmage. That is not a big factor. Both clubs have a big man. Walter at 240 for the Comet guys. And on the other side of the ledger defensively, uh, we get a look at Mr. Nelson, who weighs in at 244 pounds. That's a lot of beef in those two kids. Other than that, 
kids are right in that 175, 180 pound class, so they'll average out, as we said, offensively for the Mustangs at 201 and for Hillcrest at 191. The field is in excellent condition. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. The only problem here this afternoon is that we do have a breeze and it'll come basically from our left. So it could be a factor in the ball game as it'll be flowing pretty much downfield, a little diagonally across the field. So it could be a problem as far as uh, their offenses are concerned. But right now, it looks like a great day for football. In one minute, we'll be back and take a look at the football game. All right, I'm glad you mentioned the Spartans playing tomorrow afternoon. Now, if you're truly a Spartan fan and a booster of sports at the community college, you're going to come out there tomorrow to cheer the Spartans on into the playoffs. They got a shot at the playoffs, but they got to come up on the strong side tomorrow against North Hennepin. You can't have the excuse that the weather isn't going to be good because the weatherman has guaranteed us a nice day tomorrow. So get out there, 1.30 starting time, and cheer the Spartans of Lloyd Dan Zeeson on to the playoffs. That's 1.30 at Spartanville tomorrow afternoon. Waiting here now as they get ready to present the colors. The colors coming in from our left. And a drum roll, we'll have our national anthem, and we'll be back in one minute. We Richard Wristroot's crew, and coming out of the Pheasant South, David Koutman and Keith Haggerty as co-coaches of the Mustangs. Well, it doesn't seem possible we're already down to playoff time in football. It seemed like only yesterday. The first game of the season got underway, but it is already playoff time. And we'll check to see. It looks like uh, Hillcrest are going to receive. And they'll go deep on the near side with Nordland. They go to the far side with Newman. And we're ready to go. Whitty will kick the ball away. Or is it one or 13? No, it's three. All right, Whitty will kick the ball away. A good kick. This will go into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 15 and start from there. Now, there's the breeze on the tail side again. Pretty good breeze blowing diagonally downfield. That was an excellent kick. It got some wind help, but that ball, I think, would have reached the end zone without any breeze at all. Excellent foot. All right, the ball will come out to the 15. From there, Hillcrest Christian Academy will come offensively. Up over the ball they come as Hydebreeder will lead them out. He'll come out on the left side. Wed Nordland. And they hand off right up the middle. Newman trying to get outside. There's nothing there. Now, the guy who really put the stop on that was number 22. That would be the speaker. But he got some help, but he's the one that stood Newman up right away and hand fought the blocker on that side. And then coming up to pop him down was one of his teammates on the far side. No gain, second down and 10. Up over the ball come Hillcrest. They'll line up in an I formation. They'll wing it on the right side. Nedder down underneath. And they counter back this way, nothing. The guy on the bottom of the stack coming away, Robertson, number 57, 191 pounder. And I'll tell you, they lost about three on that one. And that line is really getting off the ball defensively. Nelson at 240, the middleman in that defensive front. 
High formation. Wing comes to the left side. Back to throw. Up the middle. Wide open. The pass is knocked away. The pass thrown a little bit in behind to Matt Erickson. Coverage pretty well on the play, and Hillcrest will have to kick the ball into the breeze. Twin safeties going back. And now a third player going back. Witte will be the short man in that formation. Sakura will be the near side guy. Back in punt formation, Newman. Mustangs will have good field position here. The snap is good. The kick, an end over end kick. It'll bounce, take a hill crest roll and it'll roll dead as it gets just inside the 34-yard line. Thirty-one yard kick from line of scrimmage and at the 34 the Mustang guys will take over. Up over the ball comes Arndt. They line up in an I formation. They'll wing it on the left side. Pitch comes to the outside. Trying to turn the corner is Gibson. Gibson gets around the corner, be hammered out of bounds as he gets into the territory of Hillcrest at about their 35-yard line. Coming over there to put the popper on him, number 86 would be Mike Levang, and he got some help. But Gibson turned the corner very quickly. Got a good block on the end and stormed to a first down as he gets to the 35-yard line in the Hillcrest territory. Up over the ball they come, coming to the right side. This time it'll be Kruger as they run out the eye again. They split right, wing left, right up the middle. And uh, getting about four yards is the Spangler. The Spangler, and we're going to have trouble with that one. Let's give him three, second down and seven. In the early moments of the ball game with 9.52 to go in the first period. Hillcrest going to four down linemen on the defense. Split comes right. <coughs> Pitch back. Gibson wants to turn the outside. Runs right over one of his own teammates. <coughs> Picked up about three yards on the play. On the bottom, coming away with him, the stack is Chris Mann. It'll be third down and a long three, a short four, either way you want to go as the ball is yo-yoed its way inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Up over the ball. Out of the eye formation again, right up the middle and diving for the first down. On the play that time. It'll be a first down as they'll get inside the 25 to about the 23 yard line. Up over the ball they come. Out of an eye formation again. And there's a pitch back. Gibson wants to turn the corner. Gets the head down. Won't get much this time as he came off the right side. Up there on the popper, we get a look this time at number 26, Quam, and Quam got help from Nordland. Let's give him one second down and nine yards to go. We're in the first period with 8.33 remaining in the period. We're scoreless. First possession for the Mustang guys. And they'll split to the right side, wing on the left side, coming out of the eye formation. Counter back this way. And the tackle made there by number 86, that would be Levang, but not until he gets inside the 20 and down to about the 17-yard line. Third down and about four yards to go. Clay coming in from the bench. All right, up over the ball they come as Art will lead them out. They'll split on the left side and wing it on the right side out of the eye formation. Long count, trying to draw someone offside. Gibson in motion. And the hand up up the middle, they will get the first down as they go to the 10 yard line. Carried by 
Safety Spiegler. And he will have the first down as the ball yo-yos just inside the 10-yard line. Up over the ball they come. Kruger will come to the right side as he will split right side. He'll wing it on the left side. There's a pitch back, Gibson. Gibson wants to turn. Oh, he broke a tackle. They had him behind the line of scrimmage. Two guys couldn't bring him down. Kruger goes in. Or, excuse me. Gibson goes in from 10 yards out and it's six to nothing. Oh, they had him stop. But he kept the old legs churning and he just went on in and that touchdown comes with 7-11 to go in the first period. Six to nothing, they'll go for two. Pitch back, here's Gibson again, cuts back into the middle, dives and he's in. Good second effort by Gibson, eight to nothing now. And we'll be back in one minute. The ball away will be Witty. Witty takes a little practice move. Flexes the knee and he's waiting for a toot on the tutor. He had the last one deep in the end zone. Let's see what he does with this one. There's the whistle. Witty comes forward. The kick, another good kick, and that one will go into the end zone. The impetus of the ball. Put it into the end zone off the fingers of Newman and Hillcrest will come back out to the 15-yard line with first and 10 from that point. They trail in the ball game eight to nothing. And he got the big guy up over the ball again. They'll run out of an eye formation. They'll wing it on the left side. Official will straighten the ball out the way the center wants it. Andrew down underneath the center. There's a handoff to Newman. Newman breaks a tackle, breaks another, gets to the outside. He's got a great run, and he will be down to the 25-yard line. And that, again, is the forte for Mr. Newman. When he gets hit, those legs really churn, and he got that about nine and a half yards. On the play, it'll be second down and a catch whisker for the first down. He'll crest up over the ball quickly out of an eye formation. He'll wing it on the right side. And there's the handoff, and he'll get the first down as he will go to the 29-yard line. Quam that time off that right side. Again, Gilchrist getting off the ball. Very good with that offensive line. All right, coming out on the left side, we get a look at Nordland. There's that eye formation again. Ned Rude down underneath. Ned Rude wanted to run a little quarterback sneak. When he started out, he just spun his wheels and his knee went down, so it'll be a second down and 10 right at the line of scrimmage. Nordland will come out on the left side once again. And there's a handoff, Newman. Newman has spun down for a loss and coming up to put the popper on him was John Sheldon, the first one to get to him. And then also coming up on the play was Kellen. And it'll be a loss, it'll be a third down and about 13. A lot of time back in the huddle. And up over the ball they come as they'll come on the left side this time with Matt Larson. And the quarterback back to throw. His man is there, but he quit running. He quit running. The pass was intended for a Hanson, but he was down about the 30. And then all of a sudden he turned the motor off and the pass was overthrown. You make that quarterback throw that ball to you. If he can't catch up with you, that's his fault. 
but you never slow down going for the pass. Newman back in punt formation. Second punt of the ball game, 35 the last time. The line of scrimmage. This time he got a high, good kick away. It'll take a bounce, another bounce, and a roll dead at the 18-yard line. First and 10, Beardsley Valley at their own 18-yard line. This is their second offensive goal. They lead in the ball game, eight zip. Gibson romped in from 10 yards out the 7-11 mark of the opening period. We still have 5-11 to go in that period. Up over the ball. Wing on the right side. Down the line. They counter back the other way, and the knee went down. Oh, he had a chance to really romp with that one. Sheldon came back on a counter going back the other way, but he got the knee down on the ground and will end, actually end up with a loss of about a half a yard. Boy, he had the room down that sideline had he not done that. Much easier to play the game up here in the press box. 4.37 remaining in the first period. And the handoff, there's Gibson. He's going to have a great run. He's going to be out over the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Coming up defensively to stop him. If he gets by uh, Bolden that time, it would have been six more on the board. Real hard running back, I'll tell you. Gibson, 182-pound junior. Dan Zizan would like to have him out here at the community college next year. All right, wing on the right side, out of the eye. Once again, here's Gibson. Puts the head down, and this time he'll be hassled down at the 35-yard line. On the bottom of that stack for Hillcrest or Lutheran Academy was Hydrator. And will be second down and around eight yards to go for the first down. Up again over the ball. They line up in the eye formation. Wing comes to the right side. And they counter back the other way. They like that counter, and they'll get good yardage on it. They get over the midfield stripe to about the 38-yard line in Hillcrest territory as they handed that ball off to Sheldon on the counter back the other way. And it'll be a third down with about a yard to go. you got to stay at home on that one. The minute you get cute on the defense, that counter will kill you. High formation again. The wing will come to the right side, and he'll split it on the left side. Quarterback wedging forward. He'll not get it. Good defensive play. It'll be a fourth down, but they're in four-down territory. Coming up defensively to make the play, we get a look at uh, Halbreder, and Halbreder got a lot of help that time from Klomp. It'll be a third down. And they bring the chains in from the far side. He got an excellent spot, I'll tell you, on that one. And he may have the first down. Nope, half the length of the football. In fact, even less than that. If there had been a pimple on the end of the football, he might have had the first down. It'll be fourth down. Up over the ball they come. High formation, wing right. Quarterback right up the middle. They'll get it, but just barely. Good defensive play, but they'll get it as they come up the middle. First one to get to him was Scott Hansen, but not quick enough. And this time, Hillcrest got a pretty good spot, but it looks like it's a first down by about half the length of the football. And he'll bring it out, stretch it out, and it is first down by half the length of the football. It'll be a first down for the Mustang guys who lead eight to nothing with 2.30 to go here in the first period. He'll come out in that I formation. He'll wing it on the right side. The wing on the right side is the figure. And here's a halfback pass wide open. And 
and they'll be hit down as they will get to about the, that looks like about the eight yard line. Newman made the grab, the pass went to Sheldon. And the ball down at the eight yard line. Well, I tell you, he was wide open enough back there. He could have opened a picnic lunch and had a snack before he caught the ball. Mustangs on the prowl again. They lead it eight to nothing. They run out of the I formation. They'll split it on the right side, right up the middle of Gibson. Gibson tours to the outside. He'll get down around the one yard line. On the bottom of the stack for Hillcrest Lutheran Academy coming away would be Mike Levang, number 86. All right, up over the ball. They are at the one yard line. There's a pit back to Gibson, puts the head down, he's got six. And with one minute, eight seconds to go here in the first period, it's 14 to nothing, Beardsley Valley. And they'll split on the right side. Quarterback keeping, goes to the outside, and he's in for two. Sakura with two, and it's 16 to nothing in the first period, and we'll be back in one minute. In the opening period. Witty back in kickoff formation. There's a kick, and this one, a high kick. It'll be picked up by Nordland. Out to the 10 to the 15, wants a wall, comes back into the middle, and oh, as he hammered as he gets to the 21 yard line. Ooh, boy, I can see why he'd stay down, because he really got rammed. Boy, he must have thought he ran into the Great Wall of China, because he really got hammered. And while they're attending to the young man, we'll be back in 30 seconds. You hate to see a young man get hurt. But he got decked, but he's walking under his own power, which is a good sign. Hillcrest will come offensively deep in their own territory again. They have not been out past their 30-yard line in the first period. Out of a deuce in the backfield, wing on the right side. And there's the hand up, cutting back is Quam. Quam will get some room and he'll get over the 25 out to about the 31-yard line. A little counter coming back this way. He found a hole, and it'll be a second down now and about two yards to go. Hillcrest up over the ball. Wing goes to the right side. And there's a handoff. Ball is fumble, and Beardsley Valley come up with the ball. And from here, it looked like uh, Sikora came off the ball. Had a good gain, had the first down, but lost the ball. And now Beardsley Valley will have the ball at the 34-yard line in the territory of the Comet. There's the end of the first period. We'll be back in one minute. Newman is back deep. He's standing back at the goal line. Also going back with Newman will be Folden. Whitty will kick it away. See what he does into the breeze this time. There's a kick. This is a squib type kick. Bounces picked up. Hillcrest will have the ball in good field position as they will get out to the 34 yard line. That time with Matt Larson carrying the ball. Um, 
At the 34-yard line, Hillcrest will come offensively. They're down in the ball game, 22 to nothing, with 10:30 to go here in the first half. Excellent football team, this Mustang crew. Hard to visualize them losing a couple of games just looking at their talent and size. And we had a little equipment problem. Beardsley Valley going against Clinton Graceville on Tuesday. They win that one, they get, oh, oh boy, would that be fun. They get Wheaton. I don't think there's too much love lost between those two. All right, Hillcrest out of the eye formation. Back to throw. Airs it out. Incomplete. A lot of pressure put on that time. The guy who came in really put the pressure on was Robertson. And he was breathing right down the tonsils of Andrew. It'll be second down and 10. 9.52 remaining in the first half. 22 to nothing, Beardsley Valley. The Mustangs have romped out in front. Up over the ball they come. Hyde Breeder will lead them out. They'll go to a deuce in the backfield and he'll wing it on the right side. And now, I think they're explaining to the center how the ball must be handled there. Hi, right, ready to go. Snap, and back to throw. Up the middle, incomplete pass intended on the far side for Larson, but well overthrown. Pretty good coverage back there by Sakura. A lot of time back in huddle, coming in from the bench, Folden with a play. 22 to nothing. Out on the right side comes Folden as they go back to a deuce in the backfield. And Andrew's back, there's a little screen, far side. Newman will not get away though. Good coverage on the far side by Robertson. And it'll be a fourth down and about 12 yards to go. Twin safeties going back for the Mustang guys. Gibson on the far side, uh, on the near side. And on the far side, Sikorsky. Sikora. All right, there's the snap, the kick. You got a spiral, but it, well, it'll take a hill crest roll and it'll roll down inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. Thirty one yard kick from line of scrimmage. The Mustangs of Beardsley Valley will come offensively again with 845 to go in the first half. They lead it 22 zip. Splitting on the left side is Kruger. They run out of an eye. Now they counter back. That's what they like to run is that counter to Sheldon and Sheldon will get out to the 20 yard line. Sheldon is hammered down on the play by Folden, but not until he'd picked up about four and a half yards. Up over the ball, they come. High formation, that's their play. Back now to Gibson. Gibson goes to the far side, and he'll be hammered right at the line of scrimmage. May lose about a half a yard. Whole host of red shirts in on him right there. Got to have several there to get him down. Hyde breeder there. Quam there. 
You could just about. The only one that wasn't in on that tackle was the principal, Colbeck. He's up here in the press box, not playing today. 7.27 remaining in the first half. Up over the ball they come. And let's see what they do this time. They'll wing it on the right side out of the eye formation. Back, a quarterback keeps, runs, comes to the outside, slips and falls. He gets over the 21-yard line. The guy who really caused him to fall was Quam, as Quam got the hand out and just tripped him up enough so he fell forward to the 21. Fourth down in about two and a half. Little equipment problem now already. All right, they're lining up in punt formation. And little equipment problem again. Back in punt formation. Gibson, he fumbles the ball, and the Hillcrest going to have great field position at the 12-yard line. Covering on the play, Hanson, and Hanson got help that time from Heidberger, and we first in 10 Hillcrest at about the 14-yard line in the territory of the Mustangs. And we have a timeout. Mustangs will be back in one minute. All right, we're back again, 22 to nothing. The Mustangs of Beardsley Valley leading Hillcrest Lutheran Academy here with 6.29 to go in the first half. There's a timeout on the field, and we're just about ready now to resume action. All right, Hillcrest with an opportunity to get on the board. They have not had any offense so far in this ball game. They'll come out of a deuce. They'll wing it on the right side. Andrews, there they counter back, trying to get outside. Newman going to be hit on a good defensive play. I'll tell you, when you stay at home and do the job that the Spiegler did on that one, it'll be a loss of about five yards on the play as they countered back. And uh, the speaker stayed right at home, just exactly the way you're supposed to do, and came up and made the one-on-one -on -one tackle. Well, it's ozone time right now. They haven't had any luck through the air either, so we'll have to see what happens. The coach is down the end zone, scouting for playoff time. Out of a deuce, wing right. And back to throw, right up the middle, complete and separated from the ball on a great pop. I'll tell you, Sakura really separated from the ball. He nearly took all his equipment off. He hit him hard enough. Holy cats, did they pop. Well, I tell you, if you get hit a few times like that, you got to hear those footsteps coming. It was right there, a catchable ball right in the hands. Couldn't hit him any better, but he got popped just as the ball arrived there. It'll be third down. Out of a deuce. Wing comes to the right side. Back to throw. Up the middle. Complete and hit at about the eight yard line. Coming over on the coverage was Witty. Pass caught Larson, I believe, on the catch. And it'll be a fourth down and about four and a half yards to go for the first down. Well, you downtown quarterbacks, what do you do here? Everybody hollering ozone. All right, let's see what happens. Out of an I formation, wing on the left side. Back, rolling to the far side, being harassed, fires it up, incomplete. Pass intended on the far side for Matt Erickson, but good pressure. Andrew just had to cough it up. And Beardsley Valley will take over at their own eight-yard line. 4.53 to go in the first half. They lead by a cushiony 22 points at 22 to nothing. All 
Up over the ball they come. Coming out on the left side will be Kruger again. Out of an eye formation. Deep man is Gibson. And Gibson comes in motion. And there's the handoff right up the middle. Not much running room there. I'm trying to find some room. Up the pipe. And it'll be second down and a good eight to go. This time, Kruger will come out on the left, split on the left side, out of the eye formation again. Pitch back to Gibson. Gibson trying to turn the corner. Gibson running room down the sideline. Finally punched out of bounds as he gets the first down up at about the 21-yard line. First and 10. At the 21. Up over the ball they come. High formation. And there's Gibson. Goat puts the head down and he'll ramble for about four off that right side. Up there defensively, we get a look at Levang. Play coming in from the bench. It'll be second down. We'll give him three, second down and seven. Gibson, a deep man in that eye formation. Pitches back to Gibson. Gibson turns, cuts back against the grain, and he'll get out to about the 29-yard line. On the bottom of that style, coming away with a tackle will be Matt Erickson. And it'll be a third down and about a yard to go for the first down. Up over the ball they come. They'll split on this side. And here's that counter back again. They get away from one, break a tackle, get out to about the 36-yard line. But let's see what the flag is about. Flag on the play, tackle made by Newman, and Newman got help on the play from Quam. Going to go against Beardsley, a legal procedure. That'll negate about a seven-yard romp. And it'll make it a third down and about six yards to go. All right, there they step it off. Again, they'll line up in an I formation. And the quarterback keeps all as he popped. Good defensive play. It's a loss of about five as Plum came through and made the tackle. That around the 21 yard line. Boy, I tell you, if you're going to let that guy come through like that, you got to wave goodbye as he goes by you anyway if you're not going to block him because he came through unmolested. And we're looking to punt. Gibson back in punt formation. High snap. Kick, end over end kick. Let's see what kind of a roll it'll get. It'll bounce right straight up in the air and then go out of bounds at about the 31 yard line in Hillcrest territory. First and 10 Hillcrest. All right, Hillcrest had an opportunity a moment ago, but couldn't get the ball in. Yeah. 
Coming out on the right side for Hillcrest Truth Academy is Matt Larson. He run out of the eye formation. Right up the middle, not much running room for Quam, and Quam will be hit down as he gets to the 34-yard line. The guy coming up to uh, put the popper on him that time was Paul Nelson. He only weighs 244 pounds. He doesn't even have to have rocks in his pocket to weigh that much. He is big. Just a junior, just a growing lad. Tied up over the ball. They'll come on the right side this time with Folden as they run out of a deuce in the backfield. And back to throw, up the middle, dumps it off, incomplete. Pass was intended for Levang, but underthrown. Coverage on the play that time by Adams. All right, Hillcrest back up over the ball. Out of a deuce again. And we got an equipment problem. Now we're ready. 131 remaining here in the second period. Out of a deuce again. Linebacker coming. Yes, here he comes. And up the middle. Right. Pass complete oh, right up the middle. Right. Now, there's what happened. The linebacker came in. Andrew had enough time to throw the ball, and it was complete down to the 31-yard line in Beardsley territory. Beardsley Valley that time sacrificing their linebacker to come up the middle, and that left the area wide open. All right, let's see what they do this time with it. Out of a deuce in the backfield. And a little equipment problem again. Now ready. Wing comes to the right side. Back again. Up the middle. Incomplete. Coverage on the play that time by Sheldon. Pass was intended downfield for Erickson. Down around the 15-yard line. All right, up again, out of a deuce in the backfield, wing on the right side. Five-man defensive front. Back to throw, up the middle, that's open. The linebacker again coming, and uh, it'll be hit down. That'll be a first down, I believe, as getting to the, Levang got to the, well, they put it right on the line. That'll be a first down at the 20-yard line. And again, Shooting that linebacker, leaves that middle open, and they've gone there twice now to complete the pass, and we have a timeout, and we'll be back in uh, 30 seconds. All right, we're back again. Uh, first down for Hillcrest Truth and Academy at the 20-yard line in Beardsley Territory. The second period had been a pretty even Stephen affair, but uh, the Mustangs, Tromped all over Hillcrest in that first period as they got two quick touchdowns, led at 16 to nothing at the end of the first period. Hillcrest have had one opportunity to score. This is their second opportunity. Can't uh, give those away. All right, they'll wing it on the right side, run out of a deuce in the backfield. There's a pass out on the side. Oh, a great catch! Down at the 10-yard line by Erickson. Nice one-hand catch. Hit just as he caught it. It'll be second down and about a foot to go for the first down. Back to throw again. Looking. And we're going to have a sack. No, he completes the pass. Up on the sideline. Touchdown. Touchdown. On a 10-yard pass into the end zone to Quam. Well, there's only one thing about that. Had that been in the pros, that would have been in the grass.
A 10-yarder, and they'll go for two. 22 to six. Ready again, Andrews drops back. Andrews being pursued, and Andrews fumbles the ball. Now remember, they could run with it, but they fall on it, and it's dead right there. He's making the defensive play was Robertson, and we'll be back in one minute. All right, the kick went out of the end zone by Newman. They'll bring it out to 15. And the Mustangs of Beardsley Valley will have the ball. They lead it 22 to 6. Coming up over the ball is Arndt. They line up in an eye. They'll wing it on the right side. And the quarterback keeps, goes to the far side, avoided a tackler, and then runs right over one of his own men. And will get up around the, well, let's see just where they put it down, about the 22-yard line, I believe. 31 seconds remaining in the first half. 22 to 6, the Mustang guys of Beardsley Valley lead it. Nine-man football from Hillcrest Houston Academy. Kruger will come out on the left side. They'll run out of an I formation, and they'll split it on the left side. Quarterback going the other way. Sakar avoids a tackler. He'll get out over the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Climb up there on the popper. And a timeout for the Mustangs. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Out of an I formation, they'll split it on the near side. Back to throw. Looking. Airs it down the middle. It's up for grabs, and it's intercepted by... No! It picked out of his hands and down to the two-yard line. Newman had it right in his hand, and Kruger stripped him of the ball and went to the two-yard line. Ooh, that looked like a certain interception, but Kruger took it right out of his hands. At the two-yard line, first and goal with 12 seconds remaining in the first half. All right, now we're ready to go. Aren't coming off the field. Seems to have hurt his left leg and here's back to throw. Airs up. Incomplete. And we have one time for one more play. All right, up they come over the ball as Kruger goes to the right side. And there's a pitch back to Gibson, turns the corner, he's in. Gibson, as time runs out, gets the touchdown, and it's 28 to 6 now. Oh, it looked like Newman had that one all sewed up. Kruger stole it on him. Half-back pass. Back this way, incomplete. Now, uh, let's give credit to where credit should go there. Darren Heidbreder really put the pressure on, on the passer that time, who happened to be Gibson. And there's a penalty. This is against Beardsley. There'll be... Halftime expires. He'll not fiddle-faddle around with that one, and we'll be back in two minutes with the story of the first half. Mustangs of Beardsley Valley. This is the way it started. Gibson 
from 10 yards out at 7-11, made it 6 to nothing. Gibson romped in with the two extra points, it was 8 to nothing. Then Gibson again at 108 from one yard out, made it 14 to nothing. Sakura with a two-point conversion, 16 to nothing at the end of the first period. Then in the second period, the pass from Sakura to Kruger from 26 yards out at 10:38 made it 22 to nothing. They tried the two-point conversion, got nothing out of it. Then in the second period, Andrew with a pass to Quam with 38 seconds to go in the period from 10 yards out, made it 22 to six. Quarterback Andrew was sacked as he tried to get the two-point conversion out. But if you're a Hillcrest fan, the sad part of all of that, you get a little momentum going. And then as time runs out, Gibson from two yards out got uh, the Mustangs back on the board at 28 to six. The halfback pass from Gibson was no good. And that's the way we are here at the intermission, 28 to six, Beardsley Valley, the Mustangs out in front of Hillcrest Christian Academy. We'll be back in about six minutes with the second half. Hey, Hillcrest will have the bat, the wind on their tail side here in the third period. Beardsley Valley will go deep with Sakura and Gibson as Newman will kick the ball away. All right, there's the whistle. Forward, a high short kick this time. Gibson will pick it up at the 5. He's at the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30. He smashes away, and he's going to be caught from behind at the midfield stripe. Good run by Gibson. Touchdown saving tackle there by Hydrator. The ball nuzzles across the 40 yard line. I might have said 50, but uh, this is nine man football, so it's 40. All right, out of the eye. Wing goes to the right side. Pitch is back. Gibson turns the corner. Cuts back. He's up the middle. He's down to the 30. He's inside the 30 at the 28-yard line. Hit down there by Folden. That'll be enough for the first down. thing I like about Gibson's running is that he doesn't drag those feet. He gets the knees up high, and he gives you a lot of that knee-high action. And when you come to tackle him, you've got to make sure you pin him because he's not going to go down with just a poor tackle. Out of the eye formation, he is a tailback in that eye formation. The speaker is the short man. And that time, a little mix up in the backfield, and Sakura had to eat the ball, and he still got yardage up to about the 26-yard line. Let's give him three, call it second down and seven yards to go. Twenty-eight to six, the Mustangs lead it. The I formation, a wing on the left side. There's a pitch back to Gibson. Gibson off this side, and he will get to about the twenty-one yard line. Coming up there on the popper that time, we get a look at uh, number thirty-one would be Folden, and number twenty-six would be Quam. Secondary making a lot of tackles on Gibson. Ready to kick. Oh, this is a good kick. Picked up at about the four by Newman. Tries to find some room. Cuts the outside. Slides to the 14-yard line. Over there on the coverage was Kruger. And the ball, they say, just nuzzling up to the 15. That's where it would have come had it gone into the end zone. So they're right out at the 15. First and 10 Hillcrest, 6.30 to go in the third period. They trail the Mustang guides from Beardsley Valley 34 to 6.
Nordland will come out on the right side. We'll see a legal procedure against Hillcrest, and that call will go against Hansen. That'll be a first down and 15 yards to go. Hillcrest comes up over the ball. Coming out on the right side will be Nordland. They run out of a deuce in the backfield. And there's a hand up to Newman. Newman fights his way out to the 15-yard line. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. Up there to put the popper on him was Sheldon. And we second down and a short 10. They go out of a deuce in the backfield. Odd man defensive alignment. And back to throw and sack. Could not get the pass away. Coming in to make the sack defensive at that time was Kellen. It'll be a third down now and about 13 yards to go. In the third period at the 450 mark. Out of a deuce again. And the pitch is back. Here's a halfback pass. Airs it out. And it's going to be intercepted. At the 35, up to the 25, cutting to the near side, and then rambles back and is hit down at the 20 yard line. Pass interception made by Danny Adams. Defensive play made by the guy who passed it, Paul Quam. Good field position again uh, for Beardsley Valley as they have the ball on the 20 yard line in the territory of Hillcrest Lutheran Academy at the 414 mark of the third period. Kruger will go to the right side. They'll line up in the I formation. And there's a pitch back. Gibson looking for some place to run, and he's hammered for a loss. Quam comes up to make the defensive play as he's hit back around the 21-yard line. Might have gotten a little bit too fancy with that one and got caught on a good ankle tackle by Quam. Second down and about 12 yards to go. The car is back in the ball game at quarterback. Now they run a slot to the far side. This is the first time we've seen this formation. High formation. Gibson in motion. And a handoff right up the middle. They split the defense and going down to the 10 yard line. Good run right up the middle, and we got, well, they're going to talk to Hillcrest. There's a penalty flag, but we were blocked out of that because right down in front of the Hillcrest bench. And they'll bring it back, and they'll step off five. Got a guess procedure, there it is, procedure call. And it'll be second down and about 17 to go for the first down. 3-12 remaining here in the third period. Again, they go to the slot on the right side as they stuff Sheldon in the slot on the far side. Dropping back, looking, rolling to the right, being chased, fires it up. Incomplete. Newman over to knock it away. Quam also back on the coverage as the pass was intended for Gibson down around the eight-yard line. (laughs) 
And it'll be third down, a lot of real estate to cover. They're back at about the 26-yard line. they got to get to the 10, just over the 10-yard line. Yeah, I see that. All right, the quarterback is Gibson now. Gibson drops back to throw. Gibson airs it out. His man is there. Newman knocked it down. And I'll tell you, if that pass had been thrown the distance, that would have been a TD as once again they got in behind the secondary. Pass is intended down there for Sheldon, but underthrown. Well, Gibson getting himself a little work at quarterback now. Kruger will come out on the left side again as they run into the I formation again. And here's Gibson with a keep, and Gibson going to be sacked on a good defensive play that time by Halbrader. And it'll be a... Take over for Hillcrest up at the 36-yard line. 2.49 remaining here in the third period of play. 34 to 6, Beardsley Valley leads it. Taking a lot of time back in that huddle. Hillcrest will come on the right side with Larson out of the I formation. And there they counter back the other way with Larson. Larson puts his head down, flag on the play. We'll see a clip, I believe. Infractional go against Hydrator. And this will be a 10-yarder. It'll be second down and a Greyhound bus trip for the first down. Got to get up inside the 35 to about the 34 in the territory of the Mustang. When you play a club as talented as Beardsley Valley, you cannot afford the mistakes. When you get something going, you got to keep them going. Hillcrest has been unable to do that here this afternoon. And there's a counter back the other way. No, they fake it, and Newman gets the ball, and he'll get up over the 25 to about the 27-yard line. Hammered down on the play by Kellen. Kellen weighs only 228 pounds, only. You could cut him up in half and make two average-sized football players. Second down. Up over the ball comes Hillcrest. 123 remaining in the third period. I formation offensively. And dropping back and up the middle. Pass incomplete. Nearly picked off. Good defensive play that time by Sheldon, who just dropped back into the zone and whacked it away. Play coming in from the bench. Third down, a lot of green grass to cover. They got to go, as we said, inside the 35 to about the 34 in the territory of the Mustang guys. Here's a deuce in the backfield. And back to throw, dumps it up, nobody looking. Pass is intended for Quam, but I'll tell you, good pressure that time by the Spiegler. That'll be fourth down. Right, 
Newman back in punt formation. Snap is good. There's a pass out on the side, complete. But they're going to be well short of the first down as he'll get to the 39 in the territory of Beardsley Valley. And coming up to put the tackle on him there was Killeen. And it'll be first down for Beardsley Valley going the tother way as we're inside the final minute of the third period. Up over the ball. Gibson still a quarterback. Gibson hands off right up the middle. And he'll go over the 40 and down to about the 38-yard uh, line. And it'll be second down and about seven yards to go. A lot of time back in the huddle. Now they come up over the ball. Linebackers are going to be coming right here. And there's the end of the third period with a score. Beardsley Valley 34 out on the right side. Slot comes right this time. Man in motion. Gibson hands off. They'll go right up the middle. The Spangler and he will get up to the 33 yard line where it'll be third down about a yard to go. Gibson still running at that quarterback spot. Out of a deep set eye this time with a slot right. Man in motion goes back the other way. They hand up up the middle and they'll not get very much this time as they tried to come up that pipe with the Spengler. It's going to be very close to the first down. They're in four down territory. That'll be fourth down and about a little short yard to go for the first down. Witty playing that deep tailback position now. And there's a pitch back to Witty. Witty tries to get outside. He's not going to make it. Coming up to put the kibosh on him was Hydebreeder for a loss. That time, Woody went to the far side and he hesitated in going around that corner and beat himself out of any chance to get around the corner when he stopped going to the corner. When you got that short distance, you don't want to fiddle faddle around in the backfield. You want to get what you can get. Hillcrest will take over at their own 35-yard line as the ball nuzzles up to the 35 with 10.30 remaining in the fourth and final period. Beardsley Valley leading it 34-6. to six. They'll line up in an I formation. They'll wing it on the right side. Andrew, the quarterback, down underneath. Andrew back to throw. He airs it up. His man is there. Oh, and he threw it to the outside. The receiver was turned to the inside, folding. By the time he got it back around the other way, he couldn't come up with the ball. That aerial was down around the 15-yard line. He was there, but the ball did not get to him. 34-6, to 10-11 to go in the ball game. Well, you know that old saying, when a guy goes down, he gets behind the secondary. I remember our old coach uh, used to say, well, what do you think he's going to go? Go to the bathroom? Yeah, uh-huh. He's going down there to catch the ball. Out of the eye formation, wing right. And back to throw. On the near side to Newman. Newman breaks into the middle, and he will be hammered down on a hard tackle at the 37-yard line in the territory. Hillcrest is coming up on the popper with Kaufman. 
34-6. Beardsley Valley, top side. It will go against Clinton Graceville at home on Tuesday night. Hillcrest will go to the home of the Wildcats at West Central on Friday night. Playoff time, nine-man variety of football. Hillcrest come out and a deuce in the backfield. Wing it on the right side. They're looking at an odd man defense. Dump it up the middle, complete. And they'll get the first down, but they drop the ball, and the ball will go back behind the 37-yard line, and it's finally picked up, and what's going on? i tell you what, that time Whitty had plenty of speed. He didn't wait for anything. He picked up what he thought was a fumble and started to run with it. Now, look at this situation. They had the first down up over the 35 to about the 33. The ball was fumbled, went backwards. They lose the first down, no. Now they got one and it's going the other way because there's a fumble and it's picked off by Beardsley Valley. Oh, they had the first down and coughed it up. Slot comes right out of the I formation, flag on the play. And, and we'd have to guess picking the ball up and rotating position. And it'll be first down and 15. The best thing for the center to do is tell that official just exactly how he wants the ball laid down there. All right, slot will come to the right side out of the eye formation. Sheldon in the slot on the near side. Whitty comes in motion. And a handoff right there. I'll tell you what, that came awful close to a handoff going to number 46 for Hillcrest Luton Academy. 46, we must have missed the number because we don't have a 40. Huh? 44, okay, well, we were close, only two off. Scott Hansen just about took the handoff. I formation, wing comes to the right side, rolling to the right, airing it out, wide open oh, again, no. and down the sideline, it'll be a touchdown. 47-yard touchdown pass to Sheldon. And that comes with 8.02 to go in the period. Makes it 40 to 6. Gibson just showing you his talent. Gibson uh, in a quarterback. We know he can run with the ball. A short man in the eye now is Adams. And there's a pitch back. And we got a flag on the play. He'll not get in, so there. this had to be a clip or a hold. There it is, the hold, they decline, no good on it, 40 to 6, we'll be back in one minute. Whitty forward, a high short kick, picked up by Newman at the 10 to the 15 to the 20, slips and falls at the 24 yard line in the grasp of Adams. And we have a timeout called for by Beardsley Valley, and we got everybody but the school principal coming in now. They're going to let everybody play. Well, let's see if we can get the kids. Number 50 is small enough. He falls in a hole. They could lose him. 101 pounds. High formation. And off. Newman. Newman breaks a tackle. Newman comes to the near side. He'll go to the 34-yard line. And who made the tackle? Adams came up to put the popper on him. All right, ready to go. Out of the eye formation. And there's a the handoff. And Quam uh, fumbles the ball. And... Uh, Beardsley Valley will have it as Hanson, Chris Hanson, falls on the fumble.
Got to get some of that Elmer's glue and put on your hands. Joe Crest unable to hang on to that squealing pig. It'll be first down at the 39-yard line in the territory of Beardsley Valley Mustang. Well, let's see what changes they make now in that backfield. And Beardsley Valley will take a timeout, and we'll be back in 30 quarterback. Looks like Gibson's still going to quarterback. Drops the ball, picks it up, and he gets cream. Now this is when all the reserves come in, you got a regular in there, that's when the regular can say, I'm going to sue you guys for non-support. Well, they got all these sophomores and young kids in there, and by the time Gibson picked that ball off the ground, wham, bam, there they were, the guys in the red shirts. It'll be second down and 12 yards to go. Trent Johnson will come out on the right side. Snap the pitch is back. Whitty goes to the outside. Whitty wants to turn the corner, but will get nothing. That's coming up to put the popper on him. That time was folding. And it'll be third down in about 12. Six minutes and 20 seconds still remaining in the ball game. Wing will come to the right side. And there they counter back the other way. This counter with Kruger. And Kruger goes down the sideline. He's going to get the first down as he'll go to the 29-yard line. Up, they say he stepped out of bounds back at the 28. And we got a flag on the field, too. Well, from where that happened, you'd have to guess on a clip, I imagine. And they bring it back, step it off, and it'll go to the 35-yard line in Mustang territory. There's the signal, the clip. Number 21, Jesse Haggerty, all 101 pounds of him in the ball game. All right, ready to go. Up the middle. Line surges forward, he'll get to the 40-yard line. All these changes, there was Adams on the play. And it'll be fourth down and 10 yards to go. Up over the ball they come. Deep man in that high formation will be Witty. They'll wing it on the right side. There's a pitch back to Witty. Witty puts the head down. He'll scramble forward. He'll get just over the 40 to about the 38 yard line where he is met on the play by Schultz, Aaron Schultz. Bergie coming out of the ball game for Hillcrest as they'll have the ball and go the other way. And a new quarterback in the ball game for Hillcrest and the cabbie, Dave Selvig. And there's a handoff going to the far side is Folden, and Folden will be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Coming off the tackle is Stalmach. <laughs> It'll be second down and 10 yards to go as the clock shows 439 remaining in the ball game. Mustangs, uh, Beardsley Valley leading it 40 to six. Handoff right up the middle. Good run going to the outside of Stalmark. And he will be hit down as he gets the first down over the 30 at the 29 yard line. Excuse me, wrong player. That's what we keep telling people. That's why we're going to quit this business. Unless it's a good ball game, we just can't get with it. So we have to apologize for that call. 
Injured player number 5-0 -oh, would be Swenson, Peter Swenson. Hillcrest will have a first down as he'll get it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. All right, back to throw, Selvog airs it up the middle. Oh, we're gonna see pass interference on that one. Not much doubt on that one. Adams went up over the back side and put his toenails right up in his back side and uh, got called for the interference. Everybody now with a lot of reserves in the ball game. See if we can get some more of these kids. Number 33 coming in is Jorud for Hillcrest. And at the other end, 55, we've had him, Johnson. Trying to get all the kids into the ball game. 31, Stalmach. There's a pitch back, trying to get outside, trying to find some running room. Good spin move on the far side by Folden, and Folden will go inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. That'll be first and goal at the 9-yard line with four minutes to go in the ballgame. And we have a timeout, and we'll be back at zero one one as a junior varsity team out on the field right now for Hillcrest. All right, Selvog at quarterback as he run out of the eye formation. Hands off, trying to get some running room, and he'll get down inside the five to about the three-yard line. Carrying the ball on the play was Folden again. Eight, the end the ball game for Beardsley Valley. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Going out on the right side for Hillcrest Lutheran Academy is Jorud as he run out of the I formation. Selvog hands up, touchdown. Touchdown to Folden. Bolden came off the left side and went in unmolested. That comes at 321 of the fourth period. 40 to 12 now. Selvog at quarterback. They run out of the eye formation again, a wing on the left side. And he fakes, comes to the near side, turns the corner, cuts back in, spins, and he's in. Selvog on the keep, gets the two points, and it's 40 to 14. We'll be back in a minute. Kick taken by Gibson at about the 19. He gets it out to the 29-yard line. And we're back to all the reserves back in again. Three minutes remaining in the ball game. Whitty is a deep man in that high formation. Pitches back to Whitty. Whitty turns the corner, puts the head down, hammered down at the 30-yard line. On the bottom of that stack coming off would be John Berge for Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. Second down, nine yards to go. Number 52 coming in the ball game, Matt Danner for Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. All right, ready to go out of the eye formation again. And right up the middle and getting a little running room was the Spigler and he will get out over the 35 to the 36 yard line. Jay Nerve. Nurison in the ball game for Hillcrest. 
Like to get all the kids in if we can. Steve Gunderson just coming off the field for Hillcrest. 81 Kruger, he's played quite a bit for Beardsley Valley. And the snap, the pitch outside to Whitty. Whitty turns the corner. Whitty breaks a couple of tackles. He'll go down at the 35-yard line in Hillcrest.